Shawnee, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. I'm sorry if my hair looks kind of stringy today. I feel like it's not looking its best. This is like second day hair. Either way, today I am here doing a really exciting video that I have been wanting to do for a while now and I decided that I need to film this today because I didn't have enough products put together for a monthly favorite. So instead, I wanted to come on here and do a video talking about three different makeup brands all three of them have absolutely amazing products and you have probably never heard of them before because they are what you would consider a very indie makeup brand all three of these brands hand make their products these are not mass manufactured in a factory or anything like that these are all handmade cosmetics hand pressed hand poured to me that is amazing i love supporting smaller businesses those are the people who can make a really really quality product don't necessarily have to pay for the name or anything like that you are strictly paying for amazing quality. And because I have this amazing platform on YouTube and I have viewers that watch me, I said, you know what? I wanna shout out some smaller businesses. We all know about Urban Decay and MAC and NYX and all of these really big brands, but I really wanna do my part to support the smaller businesses. And I just wanna make it very clear to you guys that I paid for all of this with my own money. I'm not being paid by these brands. They did not ask me to do a shout out. They don't know who I am. They don't even know I'm going to talk about them on my channel. I just wanted to do it because I genuinely love the products. So now with all of that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the brands. The first brand I wanna talk about is called Luxy Beauty, I believe is how you pronounce it. I will go ahead and write the name right here on the video so you guys can see how it's spelled. Now the background on this brand is that it is owned and operated by a single girl, I believe. Her name is Jessica, and I'm pretty sure because I've been stalking their Instagram page for a while, and she gives a lot of updates. She is hand pressing all of her powder products. The product in particular that I really wanted to make a mention to are her eyeshadows. These are what the shadows look like. They come in the individual magnetized pans, just the same way you would get a Makeup Geek eyeshadow. Here's just a peek at some of the colors I own, and then I also have this whole other side of the palette also filled. These are all Luxy Beauty shadows. I was originally drawn to her collection because I saw it on Instagram and I saw people posting about her Aurora collection. And the Aurora collection is kind of like the Makeup Geek duochrome collection. They are all duochrome, very foily, beautiful metallic shadows. A lot of the shadows in this palette are from the Aurora collection, but I also have almost all of her shimmer shadows as well. She has a whole section on her website with shimmer shadows. And I haven't even told you guys the best part about these shadows. These retail for $5 a piece. The shadows themselves just feel like a cream. Like, let me just show you guys some swatches of some of these colors. Here are just some super quick swatches of some of the colors. You guys could see I just... Just look at that. That was literally just one swipe into the pan. I just wanted to show you guys some of my very favorites. These are not all of my favorites, obviously, but I just wanted to pick a couple that I could just showcase in this video. So the first one is called Limelight. And this is something that does not look exciting in the pan at all, but when you swatch it, it is this beautiful green, golden, shifty duo chrome color it's amazing the next color is 24k which is just that perfect super super bright yellow metallic gold copper popper is my next favorite one the name is so cute and this is such a beautiful super super foiled rose golden copper and the last one is latte which is just a perfect mix of silver and taupe and this color is so metallic-y and just so beautiful. Honestly, guys, I just cannot, 
cannot rave about these shadows more. They are amazing quality. Some of the best shadows I've ever used. The next brand I want to talk about is my newest find. So I am particularly stoked about this one. This is a brand called JD Glow Cosmetics. Now this brand was started by two women, I believe in Louisiana, and they make these once again, I believe just in their house or something. And these are the best facial highlighters. They're highlighting powders. I have ever used in my entire life. MAC in Extra Dimension, Estee Lauder Powder Gelé Highlighters, Anastasia Highlighters. This literally puts everything to shame. It honestly even puts the Becca Shimmery Skin Perfectors to shame. I know, I know, I said it. I can't believe I said it. I picked up these three that I'm gonna show you in this video, and after I got them in the mail, literally within 10 minutes, I went on and ordered all of the rest of the colors they offer. These are only $15 a piece, which may sound like a lot for like an indie brand, but let me just say, first off, the packaging is nothing to write home about. It is in a plastic compact, with like a sticker label and like the name is etched here on a sticker. So the packaging is nothing special. But if I had to pick between cute packaging and a stellar product, I'm gonna pick the stellar product because this is the best highlighter ever. So let me just show you guys some swatches of the ones I have. This one is called Beyonce and it is a duochrome pinky purple highlighter. You guys can see the shimmer on this one is amazing. This next shade, I just, I cannot. This is the most beautiful white base with a super, super strong gold shift to it. This is the most blingy highlighter I've ever seen. And then the other shade I want to show you is another beautiful one. This one is called Pistachio and this is a white to green duochrome highlighter. Can you guys see that green pop out in the swatch? It's amazing. And I just have to tell you guys, these powders are so pigmented. I mean, let me just show you. So my fingers are clean. You guys can see, watch this the lightest swipe, the lightest swipe. Look at what I have on my finger, and then I'll go ahead and just do a swatch down here for you guys. Do you guys see that? How much color? I barely even touched this. One other thing I did wanna point out, which I think is the biggest selling point to this product, this product comes with two ounces of product, or 60, grams 60 six zero grams now i don't know if that is a typo because i don't know how they fit 60 grams in here but just to put that in reference for you guys an anastasia highlighter this guy that looks pretty similar in size this guy is only nine grams of product so i don't really know how they're fitting 60 grams of product in here. Okay, and then the last brand I want to talk about, I wanted to save the best for last because this is my favorite find ever. You guys know I am a lip junkie, particularly a liquid lipstick junkie, and I have found my all-time favorite liquid lipstick brand. This tops my Kat Von D Everlasting, it tops my Stila Stay All Day, it tops every brand that I have ever talked about that is a favorite, this one beats it. And this is the Lonely Planet Liquid Lipsticks. Now this brand is exclusively available on Etsy, at least at this time that I'm filming this video. These are relatively expensive. They retail for $15 a piece, which is more on the high-end side of a liquid lipstick. Once again, the packaging is nothing to write home about. It does say Lonely Planet on a sticker here at the top, and it did come in a box, which I thought was really nice. Um, at the bottom, it's just a little printed sticker, but these are hand-mixed, hand-poured. They are the best liquid lipstick formula ever, and I am not exaggerating about that because after I picked up like three of them and I love them so much, I literally went and picked up 
all the rest of the colors. I have a really, really bad obsession, but I am planning on doing a full in-depth review video with lip swatches and all of that good stuff. I did want to talk about the formula and the texture on these because that's what makes them so amazing. They go on really, really like a thin mousse. These go on completely and totally streak free. The wear on these is what really takes them over the top. These last all day long. I literally even showered in them and I came out and I still had liquid lipstick on my mouth. Now if I were to just pick a couple of colors if you wanted to try out this line, my all-time favorite, actually I think it's, I oh don't know, it's this one. You know what, I don't have an all-time favorite. I like all four of these. So um, this one is Bowery V or Bowery 5 in Roman numerals. It's a beautiful mauve neutral purple. I also really, really love this one. This is called Rebel Rebel. It's a perfect mid-tone plummy purple. This one in Brick City is like my favorite red lipstick of all time because it's that perfect orangey red color and then I also really love star which is like a dark chocolatey brown these four you guys need in your life I'm telling you you need them in your life but really like you just need them all in your life so those are the three brands that you guys have probably never heard of that you guys need to check out like right now I will put all of the links to all three of these brands in the description box below for you, as well as any coupon codes that I know of to get you any money off. It makes me feel really, really good to be able to give some recognition to some brands that really deserve it. All of these brands are owned by women who are just fulfilling their dream and doing something they love, and I am all for promoting them and supporting them. And I think we need to be really, really supportive of one another. So I love it. I love it. I hope you guys check out these brands if you've never heard of them. Let me know if you do end up purchasing anything from any of these brands or if you've already tried them. Let me know what you think of them in the comments down below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and supporting and subscribing. And I will talk to you guys in my next video on Thursday. I'll see you then. Bye! Nyx recently jumped on the trend bandwagon and released a liquid lip. Let's just go through this bag by bag. It's gonna be long, it's gonna be chatty. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do swatches.